Even if you declare P2B as the winner, I won't call this an election. Daily Farotimi. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The spokesperson of Obi Dati presidential campaign cancelled Daily Farotimi has criticized the conduct of Saturday's presidential and national assembly elections across the country. It would be recalled that there has been widespread criticism widespread criticism about February 25th presidential and National Assembly polls as several people, including international observers, said the election fell short of credibility. It will also be recalled that the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Asiwa Jutirimbo, has been on the lead from the results announced by INEC from different states. Speaking to a rise in an exclusive interview, Farotemi said he cannot call what happened on Saturday as an election. According to him, his position remains the same even if his candidate is declared as the winner. Additionally, he said the candidate that is declared as the winner will lack legitimacy. I won't call the mess that happened on Saturday an election, even if Peter Gregory B is announced as the winner, he stated during the exclusive interview. Now, the thing is, it is true. First of all, now you come outside and say you signed new electoral act into law. Nobody put gun for your head, though, this sitting government, then be pretend like, say, they won't stand for the masses. The masses fell for it. And then, we came out and said, oh, okay, this, uh, what's it called, this paper ballots we're having, eh, they should stop moving it from one place to another. That elections, if they're done, they're counted, clearly in the eyes of the people, the results are recorded, then the, the results are uploaded through the beavers to the server. I next server. But now, what happened? What happened uh, during the presidential election? Majority of the results were not, uh, what's it called? They were not electronically uploaded. They are still doing the ballot counting. Then you hear of somebody telling you, see my polling unit, oh, na lie, no be APC. Yes, now in this election, the people like, see my polling unit's result, oh, this is not what they called here. Na Labour Party wait for here. I mean, there's chaos everywhere. Ever is chaotic. People know this one. The matter of say they no no. This election is not was not in any way credible. A lot of people were like, you know, we no go agree. Apart from that, there are people who came out on that day and they were harassed back home. As what Nigerian citizen come out making go casting votes. They were told if you're not voting for this particular candidate, it's better you go to your house. There were people who their face was slashed. Now, good news, oh, I have good news. At least, as we did, as we hear the bad one, we did churn our, make our bellies churn. Make I give her the sip of the good news. Remember that particular lady that, um, her face was slashed? Good. That lady, I don't know if it's a woman or a lady. We're going to find out more. But that lady, that event has changed the course of her life. Ah, I just make I use this opportunity to share this good news to her. So that now mind go calmer because I know everybody mind they boil as it is now. Everybody mind they like you know how we they you know right over the emotions of over two hundred million people as if they're nothing. I know it is painful, but that lady is in a better place. Hmm? Somebody as I'm talking to you, somebody has volunteered to fly her outside the country. That one is by the side, aside the good goodies, good good things that has come away. I'm not saying that you should, because people are coming out to say eh. Next election, I will go so that they will use axe and hit me. <laughs> I actually read a particular comment and say, I will position myself so that next time they will use axe. I say, No, nah, look on the lighter notes. I say, Make I now back to the news. People know that this election that happened is not actually an election. Like I was saying, people were not allowed to vote, people were not allowed to register the franchise. I mean. I don't mean people that don't have PVC. I mean, if you go to polling units, they have people with PVC that because of one super story of, oh, the, the machine, they are not working, they started late, they arrived late, this won't happen, motor jam police, police jam person, kind of like a classical attitude. These people with their PVC, they no vote, and they were in their polling units. So I'm the election till evening, till night. So what are you telling me? The process, I mean, in the presence of all, in the presence of all. So a lot of people, it was, it is clear, to, it's not a matter of it was, it is clear, crystal clear to even a day month old baby will tell you that truly this election we didn't do. They just, they play with themselves. Now play, now they play. 
This man is questioned is a diehard obedient. Before people will call him, before people will kill him, read him between the lines and understand him clearly. He's only trying to describe how corrupt the entire process was. But some people are not going to understand now. They are not going to understand. Exactly, it was a sham. Only those who recognize honesty shall say this. The whole election process was rubbish. I'm telling you, they just walk over a million, what am I saying? Over 200 million Nigerians. And they came out and produced and they're like the president, the lads. They're just sounding. They're not even as they sound for that TV, with not it is so sad and painful when Nigerians face themselves and fight because of evil politicians. Ask yourself, is it worth it? This man is not fighting for anybody, Sha. He's just coming out to say the truth. We are all Nigerians. Those of us in the Southwest, North, and those from the Southeast are all Nigerians. Must we disunite because of some politicians who does not care about us? Now is the right time to pray and work towards a better Nigeria and not fight ourselves. You may be a victim of hooliganism tomorrow. Terror sponsored by politicians who you might have voted in or sang their praises. Think about this. Stop fighting others for their political affiliations. Rather, see reasons with them if it is in the interest of the common Nigerian. He is absolutely correct. The entire process have brought us shame in the sight of international. Not be small. These people go say, now this is the Nigeria, they do election. Then these people then go, they see us as people in the backward. And they tell you. Ha. I even thought that. Because of these people watching us, that we are going to have be of good behavior. But alas, this is the worst election of all. Ha! Huh? He's absolutely correct. The entire process of brought us shame and sight of international observers. It was conducted in a manner that makes all Nigerians look like fools. I did tell you. And tomorrow you go, you go, you start questioning the f why. You start questioning why these things happen. You start asking yourself questions why these things happen. Okay, you're right. You're very right, sir. It was all a joke. Anak is a disappointment. The rigging was so massive that even children can testify to that. It was too obvious. In fact, Anak is so shameless that after all the evidences, they still refuse to accept the truth. Everything Anak did was prearranged. They were just playing the script. Buhari has indeed left a legacy. After eight years of his miserable rule, he, he has now crowned it with the worst election in the history of this country. Okay, this is very visible to the blind and audible to the deaf that this election is deliberately rigged in favor of the all progressive Congress by the INEC period. Well, I don't know whether Buari and follow for this thing, or I don't know whether Buari and follow for this thing, but if you ask me, the right thing should be done. This election no be at all, at all. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.